Sagittarius, welcome to the Spiritual Centre. I am Sonia Parker and this is your June 2020 Tarot reading. I hope you're well. With the unprecedented circumstances that are still happening right now with the coronavirus, I thought I would continue with a different style of reading again this month, along with the offer of a free personal reading as well. So please keep watching. The decks that I'm using this month are the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. And the tarot deck is the Shaman Caselli Tarot. As always, I've pulled a card for the overall energy, and then I'll pull a tarot card for each of the weeks of the month. And don't forget that free personal reading as well. Okay, so the card that I have for you for the overall energy is the Hungry Ghost obsessions scarcity consciousness and attachment okay or words for that card what am i getting with that card first thing i'm sensing with that card is are you comparing yourself to someone else either what they have or what they've got and do you feel that you are lacking in some way? And I'm really getting these feelings really strongly with this card. That your self-worth isn't where it should be. But the card has also shown itself to ask you to be mindful of the thoughts that you have. And of overthinking situations and people. And also about repetitive behaviour and examine what it is that you're doing. Is it same old, same old? Are you going around in circles? You have to remember that the only thing that ever matters is here and now. Not what happened last week, not what happened yesterday. But that hungry ghosts are asking you to free your mind. Let go of what is happening tomorrow and let go of the worrying because it's time for you to have what you truly deserve okay so let's shuffle the cards and get some guidance for you Sagittarius for the month of June Okay, so the first card that we have is the Moon card. The King of Swords for the second week. The Four of Swords for the third week. Kind of really iterates what the, the Hungry Ghosts are saying. And the Ten of Cups for your last week. A happy ending. Okay, so the card that we have on the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so let's see how your month is going to unfold. The only major arcana we have down there is right here and now the Moon card. Um, the major arcana are the causes of things that happen in the life and the minor are the effects. So whatever is going on right now, you need to trust. The moon card for me is intuition and trust in your inner self. It's also about trusting your dreams and trusting things that you get given at night time. It's a night time card. Trust your instincts, especially with regards to an air sign or a male figure that is around you. The king of swords could well... It could well be you where you're going to have this new thought process um, because we are clearing your mind. So if you can't take an air sign that's around you, it could well be that this is relating to. I do feel there's someone around you that's suffering with a stomach issue as well. Um, spirit often give me things, but that's what they're giving me right now. 
but know that this person is receiving healing from the spirit world and the angels i feel this is a female figure um as well okay as you go into the third week you are going to need to rest you're going to just have to let things when we we only ever hear, have the here and now what we spoke of with the first card it's almost as though you're going to take that advice and use the here and now to pamper yourself to do things for you um take that lovely bath that candle lit long bath himalayan salts play lovely um soft music it's almost as though you need time for you this month your final outcome for the month of june is the ten of cups which is the, for me the happiness card it's having everything and having it all sometimes we want things to be perfect but we don't really realize just how perfect they already are anyway and i feel that this is something that is going to transpire for you throughout this month you've got the knight of pentacles as the overriding energy the knight of pentacles is he has the right ideas he's got the inspiration but he's going nowhere on his horse his horse is stationary and i think that you are going to be stopped to pamper yourself to rest to have fun to do things slightly differently or just stop you know in your actions of where you are right here right now okay bless you for watching i hope that the reading resonated with you in some way i'm going to pull one more card for your overall outcome as well to go along with the um knight of pentacles and we have the four of wands again celebration the four of wands is celebrating and security i feel that this is really important that this month you will be celebrating you will be having that good time bless you for watching i hope the reading resonated with you as i said in the beginning i am giving away free personal readings all i need you to do is subscribe to my channel and to type yes please in the comments along with your full date of birth and i will read for those that i feel drawn to i also give away a free email reading once a month via my monthly newsletter on my website so pop over to the spiritualcenter.net subscribe to my newsletter and you could be in there with the chance of winning the free reading i will put links in the description and there will also i'll also put a link in the comments as well bless you for watching i hope you have a lovely june